Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the start of a new Let's Play. Now I've just realised I'm in this bit here and I'm looking at the map and Brittany's got a funny colour. Yes, that's because we do have the um, patch for the Rajas of India and the Rajas of India itself, thank you. Um, but, and Lotharengi is a funny colour too. All the colours have changed. Well, maybe not all of them. Ireland's still green, Scotland's still blue. <laughs> Okay, all the colours haven't changed. I'll take that back, but some colours on continental Europe have changed. Now, we're not going to be playing over here, because I'm hoping this to go to um, take up my midnight slot, and oh, the Republic of Lesbos, by the way, ladies and gents, I do have a backup of the previous version of this game, so I'm hoping I can still get it working, but I've had some problems, despite the fact it should have worked. But for now, this is not going to take up Republic's slot, it is going to take up my uh, midnight slot, so you know, don't have to worry about that. Now, we're not going to be playing over here, as I said. In fact, we're going to be playing over here in what I would like to call Sri Lanka, um, uh, if you're familiar with the EU4, it's Sion, Cleon. Um, but no, this is Lambanakan. Nah. Lambanakana. <laughs> and yeah, there's this one guy, he's got no vassals, he owns his entire little island, and he's Buddhist, so I'm thinking this is going to give us a reasonable idea of what it is like to play over here. Now, I would like to say to start off with, is it just me or is India squished up a bit there? You know, it might just be me, but I'm pretty sure that looks odd. Like, that shouldn't be lining up with this. It should be... That should line up, like, up here. So, like, all of this should be stretched out. But let's leave that for now. Ow. Oh! Is it just me or does the UI even look different as a, uh, as a Buddhist person? I've just remembered, actually, because I was testing something for a, a sub of mine, making a Portuguese translation mod. Oh, wait, that was, um... I see you thought I'm an idiot. Uh, but, yeah, uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Coaster is making a Italian translation mod. So, if you guys see that on Steam or on the forums, you'll know who's made it. Um, let's see, where do we start off then? Uh, we have a reasonably good Chancellor, and it looks like this is a land bridge. So I'm happy there. Let's see if we can't get a claim on him, because I'm guessing at the moment, do we have any reason to go to war? Well, we do, but not with this lot. Why, why, why? Let's have a look at the religion map mode. Well, I'm Buddhist. You guys are Hindu, you... So, why can I declare war up there and not down here? Right, what's the reason I can declare war on you here? Subjugation. Uh, rulers of India, of the Indian region, can subjugate each other for 500 karma if they are of the same cultural group. Oh, that's why we can do this. But for 500 karma? Um, I believe karma in the update is piety. Um, well, the Buddhist people anyway, it's piety, so they have changed the name. Hopefully that means that the uh, Elder Kings mod, now that it uses you know, it uses its different names anyway, that um, you know, they're going to be able to get a good translation to it because it looks like it's been brought out, you know, and you can change the name of it now. Am I a little island there? Yeah, I might be able to do that. How much karma do I have? I have 20. Okay, we might have to be a bit more karmatic. Is it just me or does this? No, no, that looks like it's supposed to be a border. No, yeah, it's like that land bit isn't, um, almost isn't meant to be there. And I had a reason to declare war on you in the Maldives as well. Is it subjugation? It is. Okay, so these guys aren't my culture. I'm actually culturally, like, up here with the big guys, which probably isn't going to do me any favours whatsoever. But anyway, let's keep sorting out our counsellors, and one of the big things that we should probably point out is if we go to study technology. Yet no more can I just send my people over to Sunup. No, I won't even go there. They have technology there that I want, but no. So if we go to tech, and I'm going to go for military organisation because we're already close to level 1. And I'm thinking that if we can get you know, level two or three, some retinues will be really good for us. That's level one. So is there anyone? See, I can't get over here. I would love to send it over there, but I can't reach. Um, I, pr I don't even think I can reach over here. 
I wish there was a way of seeing the comparison to yours. Um, but let's send him there. Because for some reason that looked like it had more than the capital of that big blob anyway. And I don't think the little guy is going to be as likely to try and kill him. Now, we're already the correct religion on our little island. So I'm just going to research cultural tech because also I don't feel the need to improve my relations with anyone. They all quite like me. Uh, church's view on charitable. I'm apparently charitable. That's nice. Oh, I played the uh, original character instead of creating my own because I wanted the most um, most authentic experience of the new patch. Oh, it's DLC. I really should say DLC because it's monthly karma to liege. Oh! So owning these temples gives me karma. There's got to be more ways of getting that. We'll have a look through the decisions. Just let me finish placing my council. We'll just collect taxes and... Actually, collecting taxes should really lose your karma. <laughs> Train troops. And I'm glad that we can actually declare war, though, because there was one thing with playing as a Buddhist that I was thinking is... um. I don't think of a Buddhist as very much a declare war type person. Two titles can be created. Uh, let's trick this year on. Shin... Lanka. Sri Lanka! Yes! The two duchies make up Sri Lanka. <laughs> I still haven't quite figured out what I'm going to be calling this yet. The only thing I have in my head is sort of like a conversation between two guys. Uh, man, what's the name of that island south of India? Uh... Sri Lanka? No. Cleon? No. And then having stared... What is it? Oh no, it's just Ladakh. So it's the Lambanakan Kingdom, or just Kingdom of Ladakh. And wasn't Ladakh one of the duchies? Yeah. Okay, well that's a bit disappointing. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm going to leave the titles for now. Uh, unless they give me karma to create, do they? I'm guessing more will likely cost karma. Nope, they don't give me anything. That's fine, then. Ruler unmarried. Who can we marry, then? Let's see if we can't find somebody else. Find character. Uh, search all. I wonder if that just affects the diplomatic range now. Because, uh, you know, it really shouldn't be old. It, all, it should be all within my range. And the fact that I can see Anglo-Saxon women is probably a bit bad. Uh, but if we go to my religion, my culture... Actually, in this case, I wouldn't mind my culture group. I know they finally changed it, so it is my religion and my culture. But why not have yes, no, group? Any. Uh, so I guess we'll go no and just leave it on my religion, because they should still be okay to deal with. Adult, don't really care. Great house, don't really care. Ruler, don't care actually. Married, definitely no, because I want to marry her. And in prison, no. So by stewardship, although at the moment we do have a perfect domain. You know, we have a five domain cap and we have five counties. It's not that bad, is it, guys? A 16-year-old. <clears throat> Fortune builder, thrifty clerk, indulgence waste room, Midas touched. So his stats are a lot lower down on everything else. Oh, there's different branches of Buddhism as well. So what is my branch of Buddhism? So we get um, plus one learning. Oh, and the lady right at the top is my branch of Buddhism as well. I know I'm not getting the level five uh, education, which is what I would really like. But let's uh, see if we can't get this little Bengali lady over to us. Arrange a marriage with me. Looks like it's going to be a yes. I'm happy. It's going to cost me 300 prestige, really? Let's bring her over. We need wifey number one. I don't know about the whole um, extra wifey's things for Buddhist, but I guess we'll find out. Now, my son is also of that branch of Buddhism, but I think what we'll do... Is my son, or is he... 
Yeah, he's my son, so I have no wife, but I already have a son who has a son. I'm a grandfather. Uh, but let's get him a Midas Touched Lady. Then we can use her to educate our children, because we don't have to worry about the culture anymore, because they're not going to convert over. So yeah, let's go to you, arrange a marriage to my heir, and send that off. It's probably cost us a lot of prestige. Pick an ambition, what can we do? Because I think this extra ones, uh, become a paragon of the enlightened. I believe this is the just high um, piety, or in this case, karma one. You have a karma of 500, gain one learning, gain another 100 karma, become the wise. I think I did load this up before, just have a quick look here when the, I first installed the game and my character was a, a Craven and there's a option that you can take to get rid of Craven as an ambition now, sort of like a tear down fear or something along them lines. But I guess we take the ambition to get married because we've already arranged for marriage and that's going to be sorted out fine for us. I never started the timer so... This is going to be a slightly longer episode than normal, guys, but, you know, I don't think anyone will complain because I'm stuck doing setup and stuff. Laws. Let's see. The power of the nobility and the monarchs in this is a precious balance. Vassals can no longer... Yeah, but I want to see why I can't do it. It's locked off. Is that because of my religion? Uh, one of the following must be true... Or is it just locked because I haven't got low yet? Helpful, guys. Helpful. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind getting off Gavelkin, but Primogenitor and Ultramogenitor are my only choices, and they need High Crown Authority. Oh, this one just doesn't need um, Autonomous Vassals. So while everyone likes me, let's see if we can't get up to low. That was quick. Um, how are my vassals looking at the moment? Are you a religious title? Open elective. Really helps me when you tell me what type of holding it is. I think it must be a religious temple because she's wearing... Is it a she? <laughs> oh, God. City. Vistali. don't really want to try and pronounce it, but yeah, it looks like cities do have city in the name, still. So they must be a religious vassals person, at which point then, let's go to our laws and church taxation. Let's drop it. Oh, that's actually going to have to take time to pass. No, that's... I did city, didn't I? Yeah. Church taxation. So we're going to go from a... I guess that must just be a no opinion boost now. But let's let that grow up. Uh, that, uh, that go through. Technology will try and get as much uh, retinue as we can because we're going to need it. Oh, we have a holy order from the start. Now, being that our border people over here, I believe, uh, that's these ones, sorry, that we actually share the border with, are Hindi, or Hindu, right. I'm now desperately trying to figure out the difference in my head between Hindi and Hindu, but it's not coming to me. But um, that means we can probably use the Holy Order on them. What's our Holy Order called again? The Chosen of a Shocker. Where are you based? Oh, right up there. Yeah, there's no choice of me being able to 
Vassalize you, that's fine then. But we have... Eh, 1,000 troops, I would want to say is a rough number. Yeah, we definitely need the Holy Order in, in order to fight them. Uh, hopefully we'll get the uh, Duchy claim and you know, move straight on to that type of level of thing. Military, I don't think there's anything else we really want to look into. It's nice to see that they are mercenaries as well. Do we have any boats? We have no boats at the moment, but... Isn't there supposed to be a greater access to boats in this patch? I guess we don't need them, because technically somehow we are on mainland India. Intrigue. Become Samad Karabash. An Indian ruler who manages to accumulate Ahsoka... Uh, sorry, emulate Ahsoka the Great and unite all the Indian lands under his rule may claim the title Smatra. Effectively, Emperor of Emperors. Uh, this title embodies the concept of the ideal of the universal world ruler in the Indian translation, claiming it is a hard task, but living up to it may be even harder. Okay, we might have a title for this, Quest for Smatra. I'll, I'll have to figure out how to pronounce it, sorry for the first episode, guys, but it probably won't. Convert to Hinduism, convert to Jainism, change religious branch, have more prestige, don't have zealous, have more prestige, have a realm of province, but is that religion? So, oh, so we're going to be able to swap religion. I wonder if that's, um, I'm actually curious whether that's in like the other world as well now, or whether it's just over here. Invite a holy man to court, invite a nobleman to court, hold a tiger hunt, hold the Diwali feast. I want to say Diwali, but it's not, is it? It's not Buddhism. <laughs> Search for a guru. Costs a lot of prestige and gold, or requires a lot of prestige and costs gold. Uh, October and have 100 prestige. We might get that with a wedding. I don't think so, though. At peace. Any held titles is not occupied. Month of never Is not the religion. Come on, let's go on a tiger hunt. Oh, cool. We, we You invite everyone to the hunt as well. All the mayors and all the religious people. Because, of course, religious people want to kill the tiger. Now, factions are going to be a lot harder in this, because when they revolt, they're going to revolt as, you know, for us, king-level title. And our holy land... Why do you have duct tape over your face? Oh, because you're a lady, so you're hiding your face. Sorry, it, it, just for a minute, they look like they, like they had duct tape strapped to their face. And it looks as if... Can we reform? Modifiers to all... Units and holdings controlled by this religion is none, apparently. I don't think we can reform the religion, but I wouldn't mind claiming all the holy sites. That's another reasonable target, you know. Um, before anyone says anything, that is not a swatch sticker. It is an actual Hindi, uh, Indian symbol which Hitler stole. So I, I just noticed it in the corner of my eye, and I know something's probably going to be said. Probably not in my videos, uh, unless you're new to it. Um, I think I trust a lot of my subscribers. You've gone through mentioned quite a bit before, but yeah. Someone, if not in my video, someone in one video or another is going to. Now let's actually let some time pass because we don't have all that much to do until we get a claim. No church tax law, that's good. So has that made them like me again? Let's try and get some prestige back, because I've just noticed we're at a minus. Um, you are happy for them to get married as well, so let's get some more prestige and get us into the positive. Good. Quite happy that I was able to uh, marry off my son as well, because that managed to sort out my 300 prestige loss for getting a character I liked the look of. And we do have a concubines thing. 
I don't know whether yeah we were able to do that or whether it's just you know there because it should be there. We fulfilled our ambition, so let's pick a new one. The hunters and their respective entourage have gathered at the hunting camp. Retainers are available to see to your every need, and soldiers will be useful both as guards and guards for the camping and for flushing out any tigers. A fine day. I can't wait. I honestly can't. But pause for now because I just want to pick an ambition. Um, we don't really need the extra children. It looks like yeah, so we're down to grandchildren. I would normally always take the ambition to... But it does give me 10 more karma. And I'm running quite low. So let's take it and hopefully our wife here gets pregnant quite quickly and we have, have the daughter. I'm not that fussed about it, but... It looks like it's going to be quick karma. The hunting party moves through the jungle. You are hoping luck will find you a tiger to kill. Suddenly there is a movement in the underbrush. A large tiger sprints out, roaring fiercely. It attacks the hunting party, but the soldiers immediately move in to attack it and manage to kill it with their spears. Phew, that was close. Evening pastimes during the tiger hunt include playing cards, a group has gathered to play, and you join them. Of course, the game is only interesting if you play for gold and silver. How much would you like to bet? High stakes! You had mixed fortunes at the card game, and in the end, your wins and your losses balance out. That's fair. Didn't lose any money, at least. Uh, so... Going to uncapped. Might as well. Uh, we have the auto saves on, so it'll still be able to keep track of what's going on. A most successful hunt, a slain tiger, means look for the realm and everyone's heads home with a new optimism. Gain prestige. And I gain temporarily marsh temporary martial skills. Well, can't complain about that. When is it the other events can be fired? Search for a guru is no time, it's just have a lot of prestige. Uh, the month is at least October. Looks like I can't do the tiger thing again just yet. This window could really do with being bigger. But we'll hold a Diwali feast. Once we get into October, effectively, because it has to be at least October, I'm going to be calling that my birthday feast, because my birthday is in October. <laughs> In fact, pause, slow down. We'll do it on my birthday. Come on. Yes. Uh, well, it's a it's a few hundred years before my birthday, I should probably point out. I'm not that old, ladies and gents. But 14th of October. Invite them all again. Come on, last time I invited you guys, we ended up with you know, a slain tiger. In the Indian Autumn Feast, traditions dictate that you offer a gift to your spouse. Uh, you should plan for this and buy something before the feast begins. A jeweled necklace would be perfect. Perhaps a small perfume box or something. I have the money, a jeweled necklace. We're trying to make her like her, us anyway so that we can kill her. I can only kill my wife. Is there any new plots? Oh yeah, I, I own every county, so unless I click on a subholding, we're not going to be able to... No, just for straight up kill, that's fine. I don't particularly want to, so we'll leave it alone. Let's arrive at my court, close it out. The castle is decorated with flowers and colourful tapestries, carpets and ribbons. All the guests have arrived, there is a bustle of people, all eager to fulfil the festival spirit. It is time for the feast to begin! Welcome, guys. And we're going to put the time back up now because although I want you to do that on my birthday, it's fine. We don't really need to do it. At the feast, it's time for the traditional ceremonial gifts. My wife is overjoyed. Hey, she might even fall in love with me. 
The feast is over, but it was a fantastic feast. As as the guests leave their, to make their way home down, you sit and smile to yourself, pleased at how things turned out. I should do the same thing next year. I wish I could just automatically have it so it fired next year. Uh, the darkest night of the Diwali is here. The most important night of the festival. Candles and lamps are lit everywhere. The guests st stroll across the painted and decorated floor wearing colourful dresses rich and sweet food is served and the drink is also plentiful. You celebrate your victory of light. You celebrate the victory of light over darkness, good over evil, knowledge over ignorance and hope over despair. Let's celebrate another 30 karma. I need 500 to subjugate somebody, so... <laughs> Wait, to subjugate even like this little guy over here, the little one county idiot? Yep, 500 karma. And he's my religious group, so I wouldn't be able to... call on the holy order. I don't have any boats, so actually he's safe. Uh, who was it who I could declare on? So effectively we're looking over here. You look a bit big to start, so let's just see, are you, how big is your troops? A thousand, I might be able to fight them, but do you have any allies? No. Probably why I should have married, I should have got an, al an allegiance with you know, a local lord or something along them lines, just... It would have made sense, should we say. But now we let time pass, hopefully I get that claim soon and we do something. Just double check that he is there. Yep, and um, we don't have anyone better. Nope. To be honest, we've got some good started people to start off with, so I'm rather happy with that. I think I'm going to leave the intrigue window open. So that I can see what's going on there. And does it not show the have a bingy feast? No, it doesn't. Well, let's go on another tiger hunt. Invite everyone. This should be a fine day. I can't wait. The hunting party moves through the jungle. You're hoping to get lucky. Phew, that was close. Play high stakes again. Did we just get the exact same random events happening? Most successful tiger hunt, so again we gain the prestige and the temporary martial skill. How many do I need to go on the hunt for a guru? Is it 300? Hey, a couple more and we might go for a hunt for a guru then. I don't know really what the guru is going to do. It's just hopefully going to add me some karma. Unfortunately the game doesn't, when it just says that events are going to fire, you don't get to know what the events are until you've tried them, so we might as well hunt down a guru. Ooh, 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 ooh. I've managed to, let's see, a claim on the Raj. On the Pandayam Raj. I think that might be. <gasps> That's the Duchy. Lose 300 prestige, so I'm going to minus. Lose not quite as much money as I have, getting 20 karma. Use it. Pause, please. We have to figure this out. You have more troops than me. Can I raise that holy order? Do you not have enough karma? Whoa, that's going to cost a lot of karma. And as for mercenaries, they seem to cost a lot. Holy cow. Why do they cost so much? There's no option for like a 75 cheapskate one? I mean, I guess I am Buddhist, so maybe there's a, a penalty on having... Okay, you. Can we get you married off to... another valid neighbour? 
No, you don't have a daughter. Son and son. Does no one have a daughter around here? They're a bit close. Oh, look at that moustache. Again, no. What sort of terrain are we looking at over here? Train planes, planes, planes. So our island itself is primarily planes. And so is this. I don't believe... You can't raise your troops up first. So maybe now we save up and we get one little small unit of mercenaries. I mean, how much money do we make? We make five. Can I change the laws yet? No, when is that that I can change it? 72. So a few more years and I think we might go up to max feudal levies. Uh, what my, What's my opinions like with people at the moment? No. Nope. Yeah, me. Sorry, me. The mayors don't like me. Why don't you like me, mayor? You don't look like a mayor. You have a big military hat on. Lead you slothful. Increase the crown authority. Yep, yeah, that is going to affect it quite a bit. I need a different type of Buddhist. Can I imprison you without any tyrannicy? Uh, minus 40. I don't think we try that. Uh, award an honorary title. So I'd need something that gives sort of like 18. Master of the Elephant. Royal Builder. Let's make you the Royal Builder and... Court Poet, because it's the only other one that you can have. Which will take you into the Liking Me range. Whichever one of my vassals didn't like me. Another Mayor, it's only minus three. Award an honorary title. Master of the Elephant. Now, when they die, I'll be able to get it back, so I'm happy with that. I think we'll keep using that just to make sure everyone is... In the liking of state. That slothful isn't very good for us, is it? I was hoping all these hunts we would have gone for it, but... I guess not. How old am I? 39. I really want to be pressing that war as soon as I can. I mean, how can I get more troops? I already own everything directly myself. You have vassals, don't you? So by rank, it's effectively a county, is it? No, but your account. Yeah, you are good. As for you as well, yeah. So he's already not raising them all up himself. Um, wonderful tech points. Is that enough for me to get? Uh, it's going up by itself. But I'm going to tick it out. Just see, does that give me... Nowhere near enough. And buildings wise, I'm guessing we don't have the money for anything. No, we are... Castle walls requires tech. Barracks we could build if we had the money. It's not barracks I really would want, because that's not giving me retinue. Uh, levy, garrison, heavy pikemen, like cavalry, general tax income, and it's training ground. Levy reinforcement rate, castle shipyards, a war elephant. Oh, actual war elephants. I like that idea. In fact, what's our retinue? Could we get war elephants? I don't know whether it'll be the best thing in the world, but... No. Retinue. 
war elephants, and archers. What's their weight? Projection monthly cast, retinue, cap usage 1070 compared to 60 if I just got archers. But having 30 what elephants as well, I think we, we have to have our retinue as the elephants. Oh, if we can fit it in, I think we can get this 600 first and you know, we're definitely more likely to get up to the 600 first. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time that we have for today. As always, I would like to thank you for watching. If you were new to the channel, I'm hoping um, that you know, a few people might want to come and watch it. Seems like well, it's a well, reasonably close to when it was released. How the crap am I going to fight them big guys? Uh, but, yeah, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, guys. But unfortunately, I am going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.